Yo, what is up guys? It is Skarm, and for today's video, I'm going to be completing the player of the month for the Premier League, and that is going to be Dominic Calvert-Lewin. This card is, of course, an 84-rated striker, 6'2", high, medium, rickers, right-footed, 3-star, three 3-star. Three so, so far, not looking the best, in my opinion, skill moves and weak foot are pretty important, especially as a striker or any form of attacker, really. When you guys look into traits, he doesn't have anything special going on there, so another key issue in my opinion. And now to move on to the end game stats, pace overall is pretty good. Acceleration definitely does need some work, so you'd probably have to end up putting some sort of a chemistry style, maybe an engine, uh, maybe a hawk or a hunter, it really is up to you. But when you guys move on to shooting attack positioning, really, really good. Finishing and shot power also very good at the start of FIFA. Long shots are pretty awful. When you guys move on to passing, short passing, decent enough. But apart from that, the rest of the passing stats are awful, especially with that long passing. When you guys move into dribbling, agility and balance are very important in FIFA. And considering these stats are very low, especially that balance at 69, you'd probably more than likely have to use an engine chemistry style, limiting you to 84 finishing, considering you can't up that finishing. As for the rest of the dribbling stats, reactions, ball control, and dribbling are overall pretty good. Composure definitely does need some work as well. When you guys move into defending, the only stat that does actually matter is heading accuracy, considering in this FIFA you can actually score headers. It's actually pretty good. When you guys look into physicality, jumping pairs up very well with the heading accuracy. 86 stamina, 86 strength, and 79 aggression to follow up with the rest of the card. In my opinion, overall decent, but for the price, nothing too special. When you guys move on to the SBC itself, you do get yourself two packs in return. Both the packs are decent, but nothing too special. The top form section will cost you guys 28,000 coins to complete, and the Premier League section will cost you guys 32,000 coins to complete. No loyalty is required for either of the two sections, and in total, this would mean this SBC is going to cost you guys 60,000 coins to complete. So now let's move on to the top form section, and like I said before, this is going to cost you guys 28,000 coins to complete. No loyalty is required, as you can see, considering the left wing actually does get 10 chemistries regardless of loyalty or not. So here are the players I did use. And that is the SBC completed for the top form section. Now let's move on to the Premier League section. And like I said before, this is going to cost you guys 32,000 coins to complete. No loyalty is required. As you can see, even though the left winger does have loyalty, it does not affect this SBC whatsoever. So here are the players I did use. And that is the SBC completed. That is all going to be the end of this video. So please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace out.